Friends, welcome. Um, it's Sunday morning here in lovely Los Angeles, and I figured I'd do a quick video on an update from Leah Remini. Um, unless you have been living under a rock lately, on Wednesday, you know that she filed a suit against the Church of Scientology and David Miscavige. And apparently in November, we're going to get, um, she's going to start those court proceedings somewhat. Um, so let's get into this. Um, actually, let me throw the chat up here. Just so you guys know, um, I may or may not cover uh, news in the future, only if it's something relatively important. It's not going to just be content for the sake of content. And I have other things that I'm working on to kind of go deeper into this shit, um, as you guys know, that are following the channel. But if it's relevant, I'll jump in here once in a while. Or maybe even, uh, I don't know, there's so much news going on, maybe even daily at some point. But I did want to cover this because um, it may actually be important. And at the very least, it's something that she's attempting to do that could bring others forward. Like I would love to jump in in a, in a class action lawsuit. And as somebody already mentioned in the comments, yeah, this is a good time to start hitting Scientology as hard and heavy as possible. So here's the article that came out recently, and I just wanted to read it to you real quick. So the first court date has been set in the Leah Remini harassment lawsuit versus the Scientology church. And an initial court date was set in November has been, I'm uh, sorry, an initial court date in November has been set in a lawsuit filed this week by actress Leah Remini, a longtime critic of Scientology and herself a former member of the religion, alleging that she has been stalked and harassed since leaving the faith in 2013. The Los Angeles Superior Court complaint, complaint filed Wednesday includes allegations of civil harassment, stalking, intentional infliction of emotional distress, and defamation. Scientology leader David Miscavige also is a defendant. On Friday, Judge William F. Fahey scheduled a case management conference for November 30th. Now, I'm no legal expert. I don't know what the hell a case management conference is. I also don't know if this is necessarily a cash grab or whatever, because, um, you know, the lawyers, uh, whoever's representing Leah has a chance to uh, maybe settle because this is what Scientology always does. When they bring the civil lawsuit, the gals from the Danny Masterson uh, rape case, when they go to the civil lawsuit, I don't even think it'll go to court. Scientology will file everything in their mother, like an anti-slap and such that they already have, to drag that out as long as possible. And then before any people can come in and testify, they'll simply pay them off. That's my guess on that. Anyways, what she's suing for is what she called, quote, psychological torture, which is a perfect definition of Scientology, what they actually do, in my opinion, but specifically the fair game that she was allegedly, I have to say allegedly, but we know what they do. Um, they have definitely fair game people in the past, let's say, but she's alleging that since she's gotten out and particularly since she's such a vocal critic, they have harassed the crap out of her um, with fair game tactics. And I want to show you what the hell fair game actually is. So check this out. It's not Scientology doesn't play very nicely, let's uh, shall we say. So here's what fair game is. Fair game, the notorious Scientology policy describing how to deal with critics, ex-members, and other undesirables dehumanized with the label suppressives. They may be, quote, sued, tricked, lied to, or destroyed as per policy. I believe in that policy. It actually says sued, tricked, lied to, or if possible, ruined or destroyed utterly. It's something along those lines. A more recent policy has banished the words fair game, but the policy of what to do with these SPs or suppressives cannot ever be canceled. It is, as it is Hubbardian scripture, and his words cannot ever be altered in any way per Scientology's policy. And that's absolutely true. So here it says, fair game was not canceled. The term fair game may not appear the term fair game may not appear in ethics orders because it, quote, causes bad public relations. Read this carefully. This is HCO policy letter dated October 21st, 1968. Quote, the practice of declaring people fair game will cease. This is written by Hubbard because he was getting. Uh, uh, it's a bad PR move to say that you're basically going to go after this people this way, obviously. 
Fair game may not appear on any ethics order. It causes bad public relations. This PL, that means policy letter, does not cancel any policy on the treatment or handling of an SP. And an SP is a suppressive person, an enemy of Scientology, including anybody who just might make a comment about it. When I was in Scientology and people were um, people were kind of making comments about it or anything, I would write a knowledge report to the church and report on them immediately. I'm so embarrassed from this behavior. Uh, but anyways, things change when you get out. In other words, HCO policy letter of 18 October 1967, issue four, the sued, lied to, tricked, or destroyed policy, which was quoted by, uh, which was quoted above, is still in effect. There are also numerous recent examples of fair game being carried out. So not only if COS Inc., not only is COS Inc not believable by their reputations and actions. The quote, cancellation policy is a deliberate misquote of the actual policy. The reason for the cancellation is not because it was the right thing to do. Of course not. L. Ron Hubbard was a sociopath but, and always needed to get revenge on anybody who dared um, go against them. But because fair game causes negative publicity. That's exactly right. So uh, back to this article, shall we? Again, if you're just joining us, Leah Remini finally has a court date set for initial court proceedings on November 30th, and she sued on Wednesday the Church of Scientology and David Miscavige for alleged fair game uh, tactics since she left the church. The church issued a statement Thursday in response to Remini's suit, quote, and this is probably David Miscavige again, and he's beating somebody else next to him. This lawsuit is ludicrous, and the allegations pure lunacy, the statement read. Who talks like that except a six-year-old? Remedy spreads hate and falsehoods for a decade and is now offended when people exercise their right to free speech, exposing her for what she is, an anti-free speech bigot. That's the classic line that they use all the time. Another word for it is called projection. The church is, quote, like, this has to be David because, you know, he, he, he must be, like I said, so angry that Remedy's on his case all the time and he will not be intimidated by her. This is a woman, too, by the way. The church is, quote, not intimidated by Remini's latest act of blatant harassment and attempt to prevent truthful free speech. Again, what does Scientology do? Just like George Orwell's 1984, they suppress free speech. You have to write knowledge reports and snitch on people. It's a snitching culture, and they're known for their infamous harassment. Um, if Remini does not believe in free speech, then she should consider immigrating to Russia. Beautiful statement. Um, Miss Cabbage, in her complaint, the 53-year-old King of Queen star seeks unspecified compensatory and punitive damages. Quote, here, defendants have undertaken a campaign to ruin and destroy the life and livelihood of Leah Remini, a former Scientologist of nearly 40 years, a two-time Emmy Award-winning producer, actress, and New York Times best-selling author. After she was deemed a suppressive person and declared fair game by Scientology in 2013 when she publicly departed Scientology. For the past decade, Remini has been stalked, surveilled, harassed, threatened, intimidated, and, quote, been a victim of in intentional, malicious, and fraudulent rumors via hundreds of Scientology-controlled and coordinated social media accounts that exist solely to intimidate and spread misinformation. And I assume part of that has to do with their ruthless Twitter campaign, or I guess it's called X now, but they have a lot of sock puppets accounts and accounts in general where they just go after her and other people. Um, and they, they uh, I would suggest they do actually pay for those uh, to get their algorithm boost and, and everything. For the past decade, Remini, blah, blah, blah. Okay. So it further alleges that Scientology has elevated the reach. Oh, here we go. It further alleges that Scientology has elevated the reach of some posts by using its tax exempt funds to pay social media companies to promote them. No, you don't say. The organization also has, quote, incessantly harassed, threatened, intimidated, and embarrassed Miss Remedy's family members, friends, colleagues, and business associates, causing her to lose personal relationships, business contracts, and other business opportunities. I would say that that's probably true without even knowing Leah Remedy. I had a hell of a time getting back into the acting field and my life in general. Um, by having to deal with the stress and the PTSD of getting out of Scientology. And even though I was under the radar, I was trying to study how to get my ass out of this. I was not totally subjected to their fair game, but there has been some interesting things that have happened since I started speaking out. With this lawsuit, hang on, let me make sure it's there. 
With this lawsuit, I hope to protect my rights as afforded by the Constitution of the United States to speak the truth and report the facts about Scientology, Remini said in a prepared statement. I feel strongly that the, that the banner of religious freedom does not give anyone license to intimidate, harass, and abuse those who exercise their First Amendment rights. And as you guys know, Remini released the book Troublemaker, Surviving Hollywood and Scientology in 2015 and hosted the A&E documentary series, Leah Remini, Scientology in the Aftermath from 2016 to 2019. And just to brighten your day, here's a cute little puppy um, to focus on before I show you the next part. She, um, this is all of course rumor and stuff, but it's speculated that she might actually call Tom Cruise as a witness. Could you imagine that? I mean, there's no way in hell this is going to get televised. And like I said, it may be bought out or who knows how this is going to go down. But um, this is the last thing they want on their plate with Masterson sitting in jail and with the civil trial coming up and all that. But if they were ever able to get this on TV, talk about must-see TV. Could you imagine Tom frickin' Cruz having to sit there during cross-examination or actually finally frickin' answer questions? He, could, he always avoids... Uh, whenever he gets an interview or he sits down to talk to somebody, they have to go through a whole, the interviewer has to go through a whole background check and checklist to make sure that they're not gonna ask him any penetrating questions about Scientology. And he hasn't had that, he hasn't had to answer on that for years. And yet there he is, you know, pimping for all these movies and um, just carrying on with his life as if nothing's fucking wrong. So um, let me show you this. So again, it's just speculation, but it would be more, um, popular if they televised it than the Johnny Depp versus Amber Heard shit that uh, went down. Okay, let me close this down. Still trying to get the hang of this freaking software. Leah, how Leah Remini plans to wage war on Church of Scientology. Quote, she will call Tom Cruise as a witness. <laughs> there she is. Leah Remini has got a host of former Scientology members backing her in her lawsuit against the church. Yeah, and maybe we should all file lawsuits and uh, kind of get behind her on this. Could you imagine a class action lawsuit of all of us that have been psychologically tortured? Um, join forces. Leah Remini is on a one-woman crusade to force the Church of Scientology to its knees, and she is set to drag Tom Cruise along with her. Let me just say something here real quick. I'm sure you guys already know this, but... Leah Remini's point of contention was she went to the wedding of Katie Holmes and Tom Cruise and she was told she doesn't have the fucking rank to ask where the hell is Shelly Miscavige. In my opinion, that's kind of another psyop. Uh, that's a psychological operation. It's not really that important. We assume she's alive and even if, even if she wasn't, there's a lot of mysterious deaths that have been covered up and not talked about too much in the past that would actually bring Scientology to its criminal indictment knees. Um, that's another story for another time, but she, uh, had to do hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of sec checking or security checking by daring to ask where the hell is Shelly at flag land base. So I'm sure it's very personal against Tom Cruise and the midget himself. So let's carry on here. Make sure I'm on the right page. Leah Remini's on a one moment. Right. Leah Remini is on a one-woman crusade to force the Church of Scientology to his knees, and she is set to drag Tom Cruise along with her. The King of Queens star wants to force a real accounting for the church. She fled in 2016 and filed a lawsuit Wednesday, which reveals extraordinary allegations of a harassment campaign against her and other survivors. Remini, 53, who named Cruise's BFF, Scientology leader David Miscavige, as a defendant in the suit, has former church leaders backing her. And they tell the Post that they're ready to tell the truth about its, quote, regime of abuse. And she does have a lot of people backing her. I assume that would be the Headleys and the entire crew that, uh, you know, was on Leah Remini in the aftermath and the whole bunch of support she has um, if she wants to go down this road. Remini, who is labeled Hollywood icon Cruz as, quote, essentially second in command in the church, alleged that she was held at a Scientology facility for four months. Here it is. This is when she was at Flag Land Base and, quote, psychologically punished after asking where Miscavige's wife, Shelly Miscavige, was at Cruz's 2006 Italian wedding to his ex-wife, Katie Holmes. One highly placed source told the Post, quote, I think that Leah will call Tom to be a witness. She claims that she was abused after his wedding, so why wouldn't she call him? He's a part of this. And I believe that's it on that. 
Okay, so just a quick video. I just wanted to show you show you that, guys. Um, obviously, you know, Cruz, was re the Post reached out to Cruz for a comment, but uh, he's obviously not going to respond. And the church grew out of the writings of British intelligence officer, sorry, science fiction author L. Ron Hubbard, who came to believe that the human bodies are a temporary home for immortal spirits known as Thetans. And its followers have about 25 to 30,000 members, and they have about $3 billion dollars um in actual assets and such okay so that's it um let me grab some comments here you guys um is that working okay okay you guys never have to pay there's no ads um, i'm not going to monetize this channel so what i do is i just pin the comments and then we can um take some of these before we roll out of here um at the very beginning supreme rula i believe had a couple questions i love that uh moniker by the way that's funny um let me show this one. Come on, man. Doug, I know you're a busy man, but I have been waiting for your next show since Aldous Huxley. God damn it. Yeah, my friends, I'm totally working on the controlled opposition video, the cover-ups and the mysterious, quote, suicides of Scientology and stuff like that. Um, I'm hard at work on that. Those presentations take a few days to put together. So like I said, maybe once in a while, if it's important news and it means something, not content for the sake of content, I'll jump on here and uh, do some reports or whatever. I would like to get this up to doing it daily, but um, I, I, um, I don't know. I have to work that out. I'm still, I'm three years deep on YouTube, and I'm still figuring out the niche slash content slash um, how to do more of this because I do like it, especially since I unsub from some of the more tedious and shallow fruit machine super chat channels. Yeah, I know what you mean, but you know everybody's doing work, and I guess we all kind of hit it from a different angle. But I do get annoyed with that shit too. Supreme Rula, again, I just pinned all your stuff before we uh, started, my friend. Um, they just take a minute to show up. Also, I know we're on a huge delay. I still have to work out this camera, but at least the audio is okay. And I'll fix all this delay and shit. I just wanted to use uh, my better camera. Can't wait for the next controlled opposition show, my man. Thanks. Um, that's coming soon. Let's see. A couple more, then we'll roll out of here. Um, this is from Jenna. She probably has a deal with the attorneys that they can get stuff on the back end of the judgment. Yeah. They would be stupid not to fight them right now because Scientology is very weakened. Yeah. And the more pressure that we keep on them, um, the better, right? So, um, I didn't want to stay here forever. So, cause I have other stuff to, uh, that I'm working on as well, but let's see. Oh, Kelly, what's up, man? Thank you. I do believe me and Kelly Copter will be doing a video. Um, she'll probably interview me on her channel and vice versa, but she is a lovely lady and um, I can't wait to to talk to her. Oh yeah, for people that don't know what controlled opposition is. Yeah, oh, thanks Supreme Ruler. Um, love your content, I know you're busy. Yeah, thanks man, I really appreciate it. I appreciate you guys showing up and for the support and everything. Um, also, let's see. Okay. Okay, guys, I don't want to, I don't want to take your time forever. Like I said, this is just a short video, but, um, I will be back soon, shall we say. And like I said, I'm hard at work, um, working on the, uh, on the more deep dive stuff and also some other ideas that are popping off, but I I'll let you know, um, as we go. And until I come up with a better outro, um, as usual, we'll end off with the complete jackass who started all this and I shall see you guys soon and enjoy the upcoming week. And you find in each and every case, you're finding the phenomenon of entities, communications, space ships, other planets, locations, beingness in other states, and all of this, and you find this to be a consistent condition, you have fulfilled this definition of the mass universe.